Hello everyone, my name is BDan and welcome to another video. Today we have something I've never really done before. We have a special video because we have a few points to go over, those points being some updates, my year in review, and my 250 sub special. I guess you could call it that, but this is really just going to be a totally different type of video that I've done before. Let's get started. As I said, I have some points to go over today. I actually have some flashcards on the side of me to remind myself because I'm sometimes forgetful when it comes to things like this. But that is not important. What is important is that you all know at the end of this video some things that I would like to tell you all. So, the first is I finally hit 250 subscribers. Thank you so much. For all of the support i really really appreciate it when i started this channel about a year ago i never thought i would ever hit that many subscribers thank you so much as i said i started my channel about a year ago because my channel is now over a year old i believe the exact date that i posted my first video it's either january 17 or january 19. I know the video went live on January 19, but since I didn't know what I was doing, I may have posted on it on January 17, but not made it public until January 19th. Now though, I know how to make the video public. Common mistake for a first video to post. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Thankfully, I've gotten a little bit better. So my channel is a year old, and in that previous year of 2014, I had... I think it was 237 subscribers and over 11,000 channel views. Now we have over 12,000 channel views and over 250 subscribers. Today, I have 253 subscribers. Again, I want to thank you all so much. Really appreciate all of the support that I've gotten, especially because this is just a hobby. I really love making videos, but it's a hobby, and that is going to go right on into my next point. My next point is, since this channel is a hobby, sometimes my upload schedules get scattered. Sometimes I upload one video a week, and then I won't upload anything, and then I end up uploading three videos or four videos, and it's really, it's just scattered. I'd like to apologize for that because it's not my intent. I really try to upload two videos a week, and I really make sure I get one video up a week, but sometimes that won't happen, and I'll tell you all why. The reason is mostly it's, it's a hobby, so it's not my career. It's not my job this is i do it for fun i really love doing it it'd be awesome if it could be my job but no that's not my job it's not my primary priority my first priority needs to be school my second needs to be work because since november i have a job i work retail i was hired as seasonal but they've kept me on to keep working, so I really appreciate that, and that is taking up time anywhere from 10 to 30 hours a week. I'm only working part-time. It really all depends on the season. So today, which is March 6th, 2015, this week I haven't been working as much. I'm only working, say, 10 to 15 hours, but once we get into the busy season again, that'll be more 25 to 30 hours. That is another reason why my upload schedule is scattered. I have school, I have personal life, I have family and stuff, events happening, and I have a job. So that all contributes to me not being able to upload videos every single day or as much as I would like. As I said though, I prefer uploading two videos a week, try to make sure I get one a week, but sometimes that does not happen. Thank you for understanding, thank you for listening, but we're not done yet. We still have some things to go over, I'm just going to say it. I have a new computer. I got a gaming PC. I have a Lenovo Y410P. I don't know if that's how you would say it properly, but this computer is really great. I love it so much. And the reason why I got a new computer was because my Asus laptop, it had been having some problems. I had shared that I needed to get it fixed. Well, it's starting to break again. It's running slow, programs are failing, and it's preventing me from doing my online school since part of my school at the moment is online. Other parts of it is normal. I wasn't able to do a few things on there, and it was really getting frustrating. It would just randomly turn off. I'd be playing Minecraft, and then it would just completely turn off. It's 
basically I think it may have been overheating but there wasn't much that I could do about it so due to circumstances I ended up getting a gaming PC and man this thing is great I'm not having lag issues with it at the moment right now it's at a constant 120 FPS which is really really good for me I had never been having that high FPS the highest I would usually get would be 80 now my average is anywhere from 120 to 220 FPS which is good I'm sure for all of you out there that have much better knowledge about frames per second in computers that may not be good but for me that is really good and I'm very very happy with the new computer that I have there are a few issues though and the one is it's Windows 8 it's not really a problem it's just a preference I like Windows 7 better that's what my Asus laptop had been which all of my videos up until now have been made on. I really like Windows 7 but since this is newer it has Windows 8 automatically and I'm just gonna stay with it. Windows 8 is fine I'll get used to it. But the other issue which is the main issue and it's not a problem at all it's just how the computer is made. It's a tiny bit smaller the screen is not as large as the other screen from my previous computer and because of that in video settings it's a little bit different some of you may have noticed but this is smaller my inventory is a little bit smaller and my what's this called the bar right down here that all of the open inventory maybe that's what it's called I completely forgot but the items that I can select automatically that bar is smaller than normal the reason is because in video settings I have to have it to normal the GUI scale has to be normal Usually it had been on auto on my other computer, and auto is probably on normal too, but since the screen was bigger, this was also bigger. If I were to put it to large, as you see, this is huge. This is taking up half the screen. It's too much. As you see, when I open inventory, it's very big. I personally do not like having it this large. So if I put it, excuse me, if I put it to auto, it's going to be the same size. This is the same as full screen. I'm not going to click full screen because it would automatically turn recording off and back on and the video would be broken up a bit. But if I were to hit full screen, it would be this exact same size. So full screen, large, and auto, they're all the same thing on this computer. And if I had it at small, look how small this is. This is tiny. This would be really hard. Look at this. I have a sword in my inventory. Looks fine in my hand. But when I'm holding it, it's so small all the way down there. It's very tiny. There's no way I can play on that. So I'm just going to have it on normal. That is the good. It's in between, but it's a little bit smaller. So some of you may have noticed that it's a little bit different. Other than that, though, this computer is great. I've already said it's a gaming computer. So it has been doing very good for me. I've gone over my channel, how many subs I had. I've gone over my computer I also have a new mouse and the reason I was saying what I've gone over is to remind you all but also since I have notes beside me to remember what I need to keep talking about sometimes I'm a bit forgetful I have a new mouse I had been using just a normal mouse I think it was 10 or 12 dollars so it was very it was good for the time but it eventually broke just the clicker it wouldn't click it wouldn't register so I ended up buying the exact same mouse and it broke again so I'd gone through two mouses that were the same and I thought I'm just gonna buy a better mouse so now I have a Razer Nada it's a good mouse for me it's a gaming mouse I have some buttons so I can move along right in my inventory I can move from item to item just from the buttons on the side of it I really like this mouse I'm sure some of you have it it's a good mouse for me just wanted to let you all know now I have a new mouse I am still getting used to it mostly from shooting a bow everything else is fine but if I'm shooting a bow I don't want to be I don't want to um, click my buttons on the side because I usually on Skywars have my bow in my second slot if I'm shooting and then I end up clicking one well I don't want to go like that because then I'm not shooting the bow I'm getting used to it though and really it's a good mouse a few of my friends have it and it's definitely gonna help me in my gaming better back to my computer one last point I'd like to make and it, it revolves around Optifine as y'all knew I had been using Optifine to help me not lag as much and I loved having the zoom for some reason I can't get Optifine I'll explain why but it's very strange for me 
I do not know why. It's very weird. Let's go. Let's go and go over it. So I downloaded Optifine, downloaded Java, installed them. Everything was normal. Installed Optifine, and when I put on Minecraft, when I load up Minecraft, I sign in and have Optifine right there, and then the screen disappears, and what would normally happen is Minecraft would pop up loading. That's how Minecraft has always been for me. Click play, it disappears, it reappears a few seconds later, loads, and then boom, you're ready to go. For some reason, whenever I have Optifine in there in installed, it does not reappear. It disappears, and boom, it's gone. Never pops back up. Really strange, and I don't know why, but because of that, I cannot use Optifine. Thankfully, I don't really need Optifine at the moment, but I still liked having it. I liked having the additional video settings. I liked being able to zoom, but for some reason, I don't know why I cannot use it. If you, if you do know why Optifine does this on Windows 8, please let me know, because it could be something simple or it just may be it does not work. That is all for the updates on my computer. We also went over my upload schedule and my year in review. I also want to note for my year, my very first video, my second and third video, which I did on Tweetcraft, you all cannot watch them. My first video, I'm not a very big fan of. <laughs> it's my first video. I have a lot of mistakes in there. And and to be honest, I'm embarrassed when I watch it. I just had to get it out there. Those are set to private. You all cannot view them. But I may just re-watch the video sometime just because it would be funny. But those are my first videos. Those are set on private. All my other videos, though, you all can watch. So definitely, if you want to go watch some of my first videos that are not nearly as good as the ones that I'm posting now. You definitely can do that. It's funny watching back and hopefully they're entertaining to an extent. I definitely feel like I have improved YouTubing from my first video all the way up to now. You can see an improvement. I don't have a voice crack anymore. I used to have that sometimes because my voice wasn't fully changed. I would stutter sometimes like today. I'm stuttering a bit because I'm trying to be entertaining and pack all this information together. Sometimes it's tricky, but hopefully I've done a good enough job. I'm doing my best, and I'm really glad that I've seen an improvement. Hopefully you all have too, and hey, no way am I saying that I have reached the max of improving. I have so much more improving. It's not even funny. We all can always get better, but it's really good getting positive feedback, especially helps raise my self-esteem, seeing that I can get better because you can get better, even though it may be hard, you definitely can. So that is going to be everything for today. I kind of feel like I started being a motivational speaker there. <laughs> I don't know how that just happened, but I kind of did. Anyway, thank you for watching. Oh, one last point. One last point. It's not official, but I have been considering for a while I may want to change my skin. Some of you may not like that. Oh, this is too small. Let's just take a look at my skin. I do love the colors of my skin, but I want to redo the face, mostly just the hair. I want to make it look a little bit more like myself. I'm definitely keeping the blue sheep there. That's my channel logo right there. Channel logo is a blue sheep. I'm keeping that. I'll most likely still be in jeans with a blue shirt and a gray hoodie on. But I may change the hair. It's not official. If I do, I'll definitely go on and show you all and maybe even watch you all watch me make the new skin. But... I'm not sure yet. That's just a suggestion. Let me know how you all would feel of me making different hair because I'm not a huge fan of the hair I have right now. I wish it looked a little bit more like me in real life, but that is just an idea. It's not official. If you all really like the skin, if you all say no, stay the same, then I definitely, definitely will do that. Now we're going to close this video. I'm not sure how long it's been. It may have been a longer video, but it was important. It's been needed, and I've been waiting for the right time to post it. And now that I hit over 250 subscribers, I have the new computer. I felt like this was the perfect time to post it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me just talk on and on and on. Hopefully, it was entertaining. It's what I try to do. Really appreciate all the subscribers once again. 250 is amazing. Thank you so much. My name is B. Dan Lamb. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.